Welcome back. This is Mountain Man Dan. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. This trip report takes you from my outpost of Oak Harbor from the San Juan Islands by road out to the Olympic Peninsula to the surf destination in the push. Good morning, Mountain Man Dan here. If you're here checking out the stuff and you're digging what you see, subscribe, like, and share it in case other people might like it too. If it could help somebody, it's a win. I am heading out to La Push for some surf. We are doing a birthday bash for a recent new friend and sounds like he is all about doing a big party weekend out there. So we're gonna do some fires on the beach, if it's allowed, a bunch of surfing camping and grilling and uh, it should be a good van party of us so I'm excited so I got him a birthday sixer not what you normally think donuts I saw him and his wife munching on these after a surf one of our first trips together so I'm just gonna uh, bring that tradition back and then welcome to my house that's in the middle of a laundry put up so not the most beautiful but um, that is life for me this week. A lot of getting things done. So, I'm doing coffee for myself right now. Um, Coop will be withholding. He'll just be doing a regular brunch of lamb and rice. I'm gonna put these groceries up. But the drive's a couple more hours. Picked up a new surfboard on the way. We're gonna try that. And I have heard this drive is really scenic, so I'll bring you along for the ride and we'll see what we can capture this weekend surfing. I might be able to drone. The important thing is more time in the water, so that's what I'll be doing paddling. All right, if these donuts stay up front, they're gonna get smashed, so I'm gonna try to put them in a safer place. I'm grinding beans. It is time. I really like this dark roast. I uh, happen to think it's got just a really good, silky, rich flavor. I'm gonna make a French press of this, and then since I won't drink it all, I'll pour it into like some cold brew holding in the fridge, and I'll enjoy that later. It's not working. Uh, diagnostics. Maybe my outlet got reset or something. I see. I hadn't done this tons of times. I didn't even turn it on to the correct grind. I'm gonna have to double check what the grind is for this machine for a French press. I just don't recall. Ah, arrow. I think you want it more coarse. This was a gift. Otherwise, I don't know if you can hear me over that, but otherwise I was grinding beans with this style. Maybe more interesting and primitive, <laughs> but it did, uh, did take a long time. I didn't mind it necessarily, but it, I was impressed at the amount I was doing it. So then I'll fill up that container. I'm gonna put the rest of these groceries up. Extra coffee beans for the weekend. Uh-oh, still grinding beans though. Make sure I can fit all this. I got us some smoked salmon nuggets. I love peaches, so I got myself peaches. Fresh blueberries. Some yogurt. I've been really connecting with my, just my mission and my work, and what I've found is I just don't operate well with a ton of sugar in the diet. I mean, not that I needed anybody to tell me that. <laughs> but as I was noticing that, I was like, man, I need to be better. So I looked at that and that was one thing I knew I could change quite quickly and quite easily. So um, it was something I wanted to get rolling in life. It's been an awesome week, but I'm telling you, I am fatigued because not only when you clean up your diet <laughs> and start consuming better food, I started working out much harder because I was just so thrilled to be doing something positive. So, I mean, that's good as well. Woo! That type of stuff happens. I don't know, I'm doing a class right now with Steph and it's just about designing life and how you might have some beliefs that could use unpacking and dissecting to improve yourself. 
and even after a week and just going through two of the 12 categories, it has really shown us that uh, it's easy to have stuff historically preventing you from transcending to that next level, just like beliefs. Like I think mine was, oh, I can probably have a laxer diet because I mountain bike all the time. Well, it's a transition of life weather's changing and I have other interests right now including surfing and then business growth so am I mountain biking as much no am I not as lean as I would like to be yeah I need to be a little more aware of that and mountain biking wasn't the cure-all but the belly's going down so okay coffee's made here we go Did I get it too full? I think it's workable. There's a lot of air in there though. You're gonna see me make a mess here, guys. Oh, it wasn't bad. Now we steep. We got fresh grounds. That looks great. That'll be for more French presses this weekend. This is one of those fellow canisters that takes the air out. So it's like airproof and then it won't lift open. Steeped, now we're ready. Booyah. I'm gonna put a little creamer in this and be ready to rock. But I did make a mess in the van in the process. So I've gotta pick some of that up and let you see the rest of the vehicle. And then of course where my bean grinder goes, there's an extra coffee bean, dog treats, camera bag. So gotta get that up. This is a weird view, but I figured you'd get to see sort of where everything goes. Dog treats, can't touch those without him getting too excited. These are dirty clothes. That is my shaving kit. I left this pretty messy. This is going over. Now to see all this go in too bad. I feel like it could have been worse. I'll take that for now. Looks pretty good. Coop's bed collects hair like every bed, I guess. That's right. We're talking about you. So I brush it off a lot just to keep it from staying collected. I'm in a grocery store parking lot. but really about to make a good bird a home. Hey, you wanna go home? <laughs> Do you wanna give me a hug? Come on, let's go then. got eye boogers. I probably do too. It's morning. Hey man. Oh. How's he doing? How's he doing? Hey. You want to eat? You want to eat? Let's go. Let's go. Let's eat. Let's eat. The food's in there. Look at that jump. He did so good. Yeah. Time to eat. Let me make you food. Well, I said the words, so I have to give it to him. Here's his morning cup of food. And he normally won't go straight to it. He normally waits a tad until he gets the go ahead. And I've been collecting condensation up here in my freezer, I'm trying to figure that out still. Well, go ahead.
I know that's interesting, but I will tell you um, there's more stuff going on. I have uh, coffee left over. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to transport that until I finish it. So I am a big fan of using the sink. I've had plenty of people say this is a weird thing or that they don't like it. They don't do it. Also, they can do whatever they want in their van, but I use the sink to keep stuff from spilling. And if it does spill, it's a low consequence. So right now I've got a scrub brush, a couple of receipts from the post office, a telescoping back scratcher. It's the first thing I bought for myself in a long time. I'm loving it. And uh, like some paper towels. I'm gonna go ahead and stow. Check this out, this is sick. I found this little thing. I, it, it reminded me of a store like a Spencer's Gifts. It's not, it goes on to like your shower wall, but I find that I put a scrubber and a brush right in there. I love it. I think it's so nice, fits in there, and it sticks to the glass. Maybe that's just a bachelor pad thing. <laughs> it's not that classy, but it's functional. Um, but I'm gonna leave this in here, just my French press, and then I have like a dish towel I'm gonna sort of put near it and nest it in there so it doesn't move. If it goes somewhere, I'm driving too aggressively, put it that way. <laughs> okay, so now these clothes need to go somewhere. I was gonna try to at least show you that type of stuff. Not that exciting, but um, a flannel, um, I always have a bandana for Coop. It's like his little show-off opportunity. But um, yeah, stowing all this back in. Got sort of like a below the pants cabinet, which would be socks, boxers, maybe some bike shorts there and there, and some performance-based stuff like quick dry. Yeah, that's in there. Tees. I've been throwing away tees left and right. Feels amazing. There's so many holes and things that I have in mind, even like sweat, sweat fading. So stuff is slowly but surely getting gone. This is like a shirt that I've been wearing at night. A friend of mine gave it to me. He just started a really rad like Pacific Northwest surf and ski brand, but it doesn't end at skis and surfboards. It's clothes as well. Twig and Finn, show you the logo. Guess who heard the bag rustling? Okay, can you stay please? Stay, can you stay? Stay. Get it. He can't do anything wrong. There you go, didn't catch it, but next time. God, it has to hurt his gums. Okay, we could be here a little longer than I anticipated. He normally, shoes through this stuff so fast put these up and that's a clean house right there loving it i'm going to get on the road got water up front and oop left this out that would have spilled or gone on the floor that's my electric kettle a great piece use it all the time but we are set to roll we're fueled up i got a coffee good tunes and a passenger! Oh my god. It looks so good. Let's do this. Hey, I am driving but listening to a great book and it's giving me a lot of thoughts and I thought it might be worth sharing. For those of you that don't know, I am a physical therapist and uh, as of recent, I have started doing some coaching on helping people get their stoke back and work through life's transitions. I definitely have some experience with that and I will pry into that at another time. But as I'm recognizing how amazing and enriching it is that this new opportunity I've created with coaching is for me, I am so glad that I'm able to help people in the ways that I've been also managing myself for these amount of years with life's transitions. You know, when you are connecting with someone, helping them, helping them structure their life and move into more efficiency, uh, managing their energy, energy better with 
activity, healthier lifestyle choices, whether it's diet, nutrition, a morning routine, um, their technology, intake, and maybe adding some adventure back in life, doing something new, and being a beginner again, it's amazing how they start to see things change. I call that momentum. I'm sure there's um, a couple synonyms for that. But I often remember that is really what I did as a physical therapist, but they, the people were coming to me for another reason. It was orthopedics. It was a, a trauma that has now been surgically repaired, and now we are, or maybe not non-operative, but now we're in the rehab phase. And a lot of times it's it's not just the orthopedic stuff that we're addressing either. It's other tendencies and behaviors, whether it's fear avoidance or, uh, let's say, misinformation about their bodies and how they're going to heal. And that's what I was also doing. But in this capacity, to make that book recommendation and to give someone some opportunities to self-assess with journaling and some, uh, essentially like I've created some like assessments for self and life, how you look at your relationships, how your lifestyle is, and, and actually addressing like how connected you are with yourself, those in your life, and with your mission, it's really neat to see people start to change their life. Man, I've, I've, read, I've only read the intro, and I'm so excited. I can't believe how I am already feeling, and as I'm catching up with my friends and I'm telling them about this new book I'm excited about everyone is so in agreement with me I'm, I'm just so excited I've got a few others who are just going through transitions and loss and then um, new opportunities with work as well and and good promotions and it's neat to see how people are looking at their structured life and it's it's all going into positive change and they're happier and excited for what's next and even if they're not in a difficult time and they're already at a high, like what I would call like a high octane or a high performance lifestyle person they're noticing that a little additional structure or maybe a little more development of self in different parts of their life they're just so impressed with the opportunity staying open and um all that to say, it's been an amazing week of patience and client work, and now this surf trip is one of my number one things that I preach is still adding novelty. For me, it's surfing right now and traveling to new parts of Washington. I'm on the way to the Olympic Peninsula, but just camaraderie and connection. So I'm spending time with new friends, bonding over an activity. Uh, we'll be out at the ocean, and then we're going to refuel with fun grilling and just times together uh, exploring this little spot of good surf and really beautiful coastline. Um, Shane, the guy I'm meeting, keeps calling it magical. So adding those types of things to your life, and you know, I didn't want to drive all that much this weekend. I'm tired because I've been really packing in my days lately and uh, have changed my workout routine, so I feel fatigued. But I'm gonna to listen to my body, not overdo it, and I know if I get in the water immediately, I'll know this was the right call. <laughs> I'm excited to serve. This weather, this country is beautiful, and it's such a worthy part of our journey. So that is what I am excited about right now in terms of not just being a PT, but also initiating some coaching and connecting with people on similar missions, trying to live their fullest life without compromising because they're just not stoked at the moment. So, thanks for listening on this section of the drive. I've got another couple hours, but I'll, I'll add some scenery for y'all as well. And I am so grateful for the opportunity to work with people at all capacities, orthopedic, lifestyle, finding your stoke. And if you have any questions about that type of stuff, get in touch. It is simpler than you think to get into this headspace and then see your life change so happy to connect with you and send you some documents my favorite thing is getting people started with some journaling which is something everyone can do and when you get your thoughts out on paper things really can get answered for you and give you some purpose and direction so 
happy to drop a comment below and give you any of that stuff, you know? So let me know, and if I can be of service, would love to drop you not only some journals, uh, some like lifestyle structure sheets that I put together and stuff, anything like that, that could um, not only just get you going in the right direction, but let you know how powerful some simple changes can be. I'll try to make this drive uh, as enjoyable as possible. Later. I wanted to film this because I wasn't sure anyone would believe me, but check out the name of this town. I think as a van lifer without a bathroom, necessarily a sit-down bathroom, it's easy to just pay attention to when you see one that's available. Or you pay attention to where there's a nice public restroom typically found. Grocery stores, oftentimes cafes, things of the like. But what is it about those blue plastic boxes you typically find at a concert or festival that has such a bad connotation? It might be the name, a porta john, a porta let, or a port a potty, porta potty. But what I will say is I've seen a brand in Washington that doesn't seem to make it sound as bad, and I want to see what you guys think. So right beside an espresso shop, here is our honey bucket. And like I said, it could be beside a cafe or espresso shop. But if you call it a honey bucket, it doesn't sound near as bad. That's my, <laughs> that's my perspective. Because anytime you say, to, if, if you're traveling with a lady and you say, oh, well, there's a porta john you can go use, see how thrilled she is. But if you call it a honey bucket, maybe she'll be okay with it. Turn this music down for us. So I'm driving through Olympic National Park and in it is the Ho Rainforest, H. O H, and it is so incredibly scenic and thick. I'm just so impressed with it. Uh, it I'm. It's hard to share also because I'm in the forest. I'm driving. It's foggy. I'm not trying to stop a lot because I do have surfing on the mind, and I want to get there. And it may be sunny when I get there, so it's a bummer if I can't capture it. But I just pulled into a campground. It is full, um, so I didn't want to disturb the campground. We're sort of on and off reservation land, and uh, I, I pulled in and just turned around real quick so I could see the ocean. It is excellent here. A lot of old growth forest, trees extremely large, a lot of moss covering them completely. It's gorgeous, but I will uh, work on finding the next best spot to stop. I didn't want to get out in a campground that's already full, and uh, it seemed like everyone was keeping it themselves. So I just read the zone, and I'm going to keep going. But this is really nice. I'm 200, 300 feet maybe from the water back that way. And it is really exquisite here. So if you haven't heard of this, check it out. The Ho Rainforest. It is something else. And the rivers, the lakes, the mountains are huge. Olympic National Park. Ever heard of it? It's something else. Thought that might be a good scene uh, from the van roof of how thick it is, but it's nice to see the water 
finally I've been in the thick ocean for a good bit and it doesn't seem like the waves are really consistent but it could be decent especially where I'm heading so that is exciting look and there's I wonder if the camera can pick this up got an island just out there yeah man good sea formations beginning which is what I believe makes the zone described as magical I got there to camp and looked around, I didn't see anyone. So I headed to the beach to take a stroll and stretch the legs after the drive, also see if I ran into them. I didn't catch them between surfs, but with pretty much a sea of penguins out there in black suits and white boards, it could have been any one of them. So I decided to suit up myself, get out there and see if I could just run into them by chance that way. Still didn't catch them, but the surf was good. It was great to get wet, get a workout in. And I figured at a certain point, once I was tired, I'd probably be bound to see them at camp, which was the case. We did catch up back at camp and versus film the rest of the night, we just all caught up. We waited up for a few other people that we surfed with to come, including Shane's wife. And we just decided to relax, eat separately, and then make sure we got rest for the rest of the weekend. Alrighty, yesterday I got here and found Shane's van. <clears throat> Couldn't find him and the rest of the crew. So I went ahead and suited up, jumped out in the water, and had a fun session. It was pretty big and a little a little violent, like getting out, but it was something for me to learn, so I, I went for it and did have fun. Uh, excited to do a little better today, and it's early yet. Um, we had more people in this camping group arrive last night. So I think uh, some of us here parked nearby were up late. I went to bed on time and um, am up early, just ready to do some stuff with Coop and um, sort of some me time. Hoping to see Shane and the wife up early this morning and eating their birthday donuts. And i um, excited just to get out in the water today. It looks a little misty, but uh, it did change like on and off mist, sun, rain several times yesterday so we should hopefully get a break in the weather coop and i are about to go walk on the beach and just get sort of a morning uh shake out legs move in and uh i'll check back in when there's more activity here in camp stuff is still drying out hey man are you ready to go let's go to the beach okay let's go Surf looks pretty rad. Sun's peeking out over here towards the camp. And this, uh, it's like a good sort of closed off beach here with mountains on each side. So it's, it's awesome. Coop just relieved himself. So the morning is good and he is ready to move. Ding! I may go get a wetsuit on. Uh, the rest of the boys aren't up and moving, but something's calling to me. It's just nice when it's this calm and there's only like seven people out max. I'm sure it's gonna get busy fast. It is sort of a notorious weekend for it being good, and the waves are good. <clears throat> People know about this place. The campground's definitely full. Coop's having a good time though, running around. So I'm debating on making a cup of coffee and sort of sitting and hanging or just busting it out there. I'll figure it out and try to figure out how to document it. I don't think I'll be bringing the old uh, camera out in the ocean. And my lens is not good for that length, but that's sort of a next move for me just to get better footage for y'all. Hey, is it yours? Is it yours? You gonna get it? Don't grab the yeah, you can't run with it like that. Whoa! Watch him grab the end. Neck workout. Hey, man. Thank you. 
Got it. Let's go. Search. Come on. <laughs> Grab the very end of it, buddy. He's done this his whole life. I can't believe we haven't gotten the concept. Well, part of me is saying wait. Wait till the birthday boy's out and we can get the crew together and we'll go out and sort of cheer each other on. It does look pretty serene right now and it could be quite nice. Um, but I think if I try to squeeze in an extra sesh, I might just be tired if we try to do the three surf sesh thing that he did yesterday. So we'll see. But old boy's getting some throwing time. That's your stick. Don't chew it. Bring it here. Yeah, he's still ready. I guess to show you the scale, I need to back up a little. Isn't that a big tree? It's time for booties. I love those in like middle school. I was they, like they riding in my school. Up. Valley, like, no soap shoes, so good. no heelys. <laughs> like if you had heelys, you had to like give the wheel of your foot so you just grind turns and stuff. Don't. Like, it's cameras. weird and awkward. It is. <laughs> it's always like the scene from Ace Ventura when he's getting out of the rhino. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 And now I'm tired. These things are just nasty. All right. I guess that blanket's on the floor. I'm s I got a ton of sand in my stuff. I've been for six months and then not have a wetsuit. Yeah, I need to buy a new one and then I'll send this one in. There you go. I'll get an R3 so then I'll have two suits. I'll have one for hey, winter. Yeah, hot, really. Really. campground in La Push. Wild time. It is windy, sunny, misty, rainy every other hour. It is pretty rad. Workout was good. According to my whoop, this was a rather good workout. Tons of time. Also a good amount of time with above average heart rate for a sustained amount of time. I'll take it. So it was super fun and everybody's finally coming in. Most of us are out of our wetsuits, and now I think just to do a little birthday fun for Shane, he just came back in to get a, some donuts to get his blood sugar back up just to stabilize. So we should be good for another little bit, um, and I'm just gonna leisurely enjoy manning the Traeger and throwing up us a group meal so we can slice up some tenderloins and uh, just take it easy by the beach zone. Um, and if it shapes back up later on, we'll all probably go back out. So I thought early, in the day, uh, meat, sweats, nap, then we can go back out.
right, we are feeling a little burned. It's fun looking at the waves. I just got some drone footage and this is just one magical place. It's nice to be this close on the beach break. I'm happy to take you on a quick tour and see if I can get you out there. But um, I've got a tri-tip on the grill. We already did a tenderloin. So we're smoking another piece and probably mellowing out. Seems like that's sort of the general gist, but everybody's tired. Some of them have been here all week and I just got here yesterday. So it was, an, it was a great session today, but it did register pretty high on the whoop. Uh, which is like the little fitness tracker that I wear um, and it, it sure feels like it too but I had a great week in the gym so there's no telling what is what but it has been epic and uh, I, I'm just uh, blurring my speech now too as well with uh, the amount of fatigue that we've had and we're just now fueling up for like first real meal of the day and it's probably 5 p.m. so maybe a little later than that Coop's following me around like a shadow and um, full of pine needles and then here's sort of a tour of where we're at so sun has peeked through but check out oh there's so many children everywhere but just look at this place waves are still going i'm parked right here and this is where the surf's happening right now a couple of guys are still catching a few things over here Oop, fake out they've moved it here Here's our crew scooping. But don't you love those sea features? After all the scoping and in the middle of us grilling a tri-tip, we decided to go surfing. So locked that down, got it covered, and just paused everything, and we suited up and went back out. We just saw the sun go down. It was so sick just being out there when it got a little glassier and not, uh, not as choppy. It was something else. Feel like I need to share. My face will black out, but just how amazing is that sunset? I'm so impressed with just these great conditions. Everybody's been super cordial and uh, seems to be a good group of people. Uh, we smoked the tri tip, the tenderloin today, had a fun group meal, two big surf sessions, real physical, and then a good amount of uh, just sort of baking in the sun, thawing out and warming back up for the sunset. I think we're about to turn in uh, s'mores, fire pit, and uh, whew, it'll be an early one. Turning in that is, because I'm tired. Seeing the sun go down like that from the water was amazing. But once we got out of our suits and back into the vans and warm, the night ended pretty quick. We tried the tri-tip, but ultimately we're in the sack within an hour or so after we finished riding. Party weekend a success. It might look a little foggy in here. It's because it is, and we got a little rained on, misted on overnight, which I think is pretty common for this zone, but I'm pretty wet. A lot of my stuff is also wet. Not damp, wet. So, uh, surf's looking mildly flat. I think versus just, which it pains me to say this, to keep sticking around and waiting, I'm gonna bounce and see if I can't catch a ferry, which looks pretty full as I peruse the schedules this morning so I might be able to get on a standby boat we will see so that'll be my option uh, here shortly 
gonna see if that'll work and go up to Whidbey Island and then maybe drive back to my home base. So we'll go from there. But good weekend. I've heard doors open around camp, but I haven't seen any movement from our humans. So I'm just gonna pull the old Irish getaway, I guess, and leave the party early without telling anyone. started seeing this on the drive and I just immediately started looking for a pullout. It's so blue and looks so good. I just figured it's probably worth stopping. Definitely just working my way back to northern Washington today. Might as well enjoy it. Oh, oh man. Oh. It's not real cold either, but it sure feels nice to get a little salt off from a couple of days surfing. Look how beautiful some of this is. You can see the mountains in the background. I'm on the way home from the Washington surf spot, but here we are waiting in the ferry line. I'm excited to get back. It looks like I'll get on maybe the next ferry or so. I'm just drying out all my stuff um, with really good views. I was about to clean my windows, but then I started seeing traffic move. So I jump back in and sort of batten down the hatches but I still got my cleaner spray and rags out ready to just clean stuff the salt tends to get it sort of grimed up you might be able to see this through my window yeah look how salty it is but then look in the background those mountains are so dope and here we are just waiting to get into the ferry hope it works but uh, this is a nice way to travel because at least I've uh, done some ground coverage. I can do some maintenance on the van and um, the mileage is not all lost. But at least I'm not traveling through Metro Seattle and getting stuck in traffic. So Coop's a little warm, but I got typically the door open and we are regularly rocking on good airflow. So it looks like they're filling up this ferry. I'm on the next one in an hour and that's okay because happily could use some dry out time for the van. So that's next. Uh, checking in and trying to get back to Bellingham for my day, my, my day off and excited to just relax, hopefully get on the bike and maybe get an extra workout in. Man, I hadn't been back here yet, but I have now looked around and it is so sick. I like being near the ocean with mountains. It's a different feel. Just so you know, this is what a ferry line looks like. It's not here yet, but there it is. See you soon.
so much better than air traffic. You get to stay in your own home and you just bring it on the water. So we had a quick transit time. It was super, super fast, super smooth. I barely waited on the standby line and I caught the, uh, the one that I arrived for was just departing. So I caught the second one, which was like a 50 minute wait. So not much. I got on my surf skate and cruised through Port Townsend, which is a really dope little town. Uh, would like to return soon. But we are on our way back to North Washington and I didn't have to get stuck in the classic Seattle traffic. So that's a win. And it looks like it keeps blacking out my face, but if you're getting some ocean, and I've got the views too, it is such a scenic drive. I do like the ferry system. I look forward to keep using them and uh, sort of learn the ins and outs. I can tell already Reservations may be worthy if you can plan in advance. Oh, they're horning us in. Later. The weekend was a success. We surfed, we celebrated, and we ate good. Sunday morning, I decided to leave La Push and push for home. I wanted to take the ferry to be a bit more effective, so I was going to leave La Push. I wanted to check out a surf shop in Port Angeles and then I would head to Port Townsend for the ferry from there to Coopville, back on Whidbey Island. Along the way, I'd also be stopping to probably take a dip in Crescent Lake if I could find a good spot. Let's be honest, it wasn't really a dip, it was more or less a shower from all the salt water and just all the campfire smoke. And we were off. <laughs> 